There are possibly billions of photos throughout the internet. Some of those photos are innocent, like photos of puppies, while some photos are weird and some other photos can be disturbing. In today's video, we answer the question, where did these images come from? Welcome back to another video. This is part four of where did these images come from? Also, by the time this video comes out, we should be at 200,000 subscribers. All I want to say is thank you so much because it is truly a dream come true. I can't believe we're about to hit 200,000 subscribers. 200k is a lot of people, so thank you for all the support. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, which they will be linked in the description below. And for the record, I don't know if this will be the finale of my Where Did These Images Come From series because I really do like to talk about more of the more popular creepypasta images, which for the most part, I kind of already covered most of them. And the ones I haven't covered yet aren't even found yet. So we'll see if this is the finale, but hopefully it isn't. McDonald's UFO. This is a photo that I found online of a UFO McDonald's. I don't know why, but the camera used to take the photo really makes the image look like a liminal space image, since one key element to make any image liminal is by not adding any people to the image. By not adding people to the photo, it makes the photo look more unfamiliar and dreamlike. However, cars sometimes break the liminal space feeling since people drive in them. I also found this other photo of the same UFO McDonald's. Just like the first image, this photo also gives me a liminal space feeling since the camera that took this photo seems old. Unless if they used a filter or photoshopped the image. Since these two photos first surfaced the web in 2016. So, is this UFO McDonald's even a real place? Believe it or not, yes, this is a real McDonald's. This McDonald's was located in Cambridgeshire, United Kingdom. The location first opened up in 1990, but it sadly closed in 2008. It closed because it wasn't profitable. Yeah, sure, the place looked cool, but just because something looks cool doesn't mean it was profitable. In 2008, McDonald's sold that place to a firm and the UFO was demolished. Luckily, in Rosewell, New Mexico, there is another UFO McDonald's. However, this one doesn't feel as liminal compared to the one that was in the UK. I have no idea why the one from the UK was in the shape of a UFO, but I do know why the New Mexico location was in the shape of a UFO. That's because in 1947, a rancher named Mac Brazel found pieces of a UFO in Rosewell, New Mexico. After calling the police, the police called the officials near the Army Air Force Base, and once soldiers came to Mac's house, they confiscated the debris. And from that day forward, the whole town is now alien themed. Everywhere you look, you will see an alien. So the McDonald's in that town is in the shape of a UFO to fit in with the theme of the town. Which is a very awesome idea. But in my opinion, the UFO from New Mexico doesn't look as liminal compared to the first location that was in the UK. Red Mist. This is an infamous creepypasta which also goes by the name Squidward Sleepy Time. This creepypasta came out in 2010. When this creepypasta was uploaded, it was accompanied with this image. The creepypasta is about an unaired Spongebob episode where Squidward performs at a concert, but his performance doesn't go too well. So when he goes back to his house, he sleeps forever. Red Mist has to be one of the biggest creepypastas right next to Jeff the Killer. So, where did this image come from? Just to let you know that the origins of this image aren't fully found, but I have a lot of good leads that I want to share with you guys. First off, let's start with the Squidward photo. This image is clearly this photo since it lines up perfectly. I found this on Reddit, and some people in the comments do say that this could be the Red Mist image, but they aren't fully sure. But if you ask me, I can confidently say that this is indeed the original Squidward photo that was used for the Red Mist creepypasta. I even read this brain dead comment saying, It does look like it, it could be, but the spots on his head are missing in the Red Mist version. Bruh. We're literally talking about the origins of an edited photo. Clearly, you can remove the spots from Squidward's head. It's not that hard. 
To be fair, the Reddit post only gave a side by side comparison and yeah, the two images look very different. So what I did is that I just stacked the images on one another and it's a perfect match. So this is 100% the photo used for the red mist image. However, we're still not finished with the origin because we still have a few unanswered questions. Like what photo was used for the background and what photo was used for the eyes. Sadly, we don't have any leads for the background and it's very hard to tell what photo could possibly been used for the background. Luckily, I do have a good lead for the eyes. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling that the creator of the Red Mist image used the same eyes as Smile Dog. A redditor posted a side-by-side -side comparison of Red Mist and Smile Dog, and from the looks of it, it's a match. Even if the eyes used are from Smile Dog, we still have to answer the question, where did Smile Dog get its eyes from? So for now, the Red Mist photo origins aren't fully found, but we for sure found the exact photo of Squidward that was used for the Red Mist image. Level 1 Google Strawberry Huts This is a level in the back room showing an image of Strawberry Huts. I do not know much about the back room, so I do not know what Level 1 Google means in the back room's lore. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. This photo shows a very saturated photo of Strawberry Huts, and in the back room's wiki, it states that this level appears to be an infinite plane with three huts resembling strawberries in the middle. The huts are completely empty and the level is devoid of supplies. This level also has zero entities in it and the survival difficulty is zero. From the looks of it, this is the unedited version of the photo. These two images surfaced the web in 2016 and 2020. At first glance, I thought that this was some kids TV show set such as the Teletubbies, but it turns out that this is actually a real building. By simply searching Strawberry Back Rooms and clicking on images, you can find multiple Reddit posts talking about its origin. This Strawberry Hut building is a restaurant in Indonesia. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the restaurant's name because I'll butcher it. And having a strawberry shaped restaurant is pretty cool and weird. Mario Turbio you have probably seen this photo of an uncanny Mario. This image first surfaced on the web in December of 2019. This image is called Mario Turbio, and this meme got big in Spanish-speaking countries such as Mexico. The best way to describe this meme is that this meme is exactly the same as the Mr. Incredible uncanny meme. But instead of Mr. Incredible, it's actually Mario. This image later blew up in the United States with this YouTube video that came out on July 2nd, 2021 titled One Hour of Silence, occasionally broken up by Vine Boom sound effect. This legendary video garnered over 4.3 million views. So, where did this image come from? Well, since most of the memes are in Spanish, I assume that the photo originated in a Spanish-speaking country. The photo of Mario used in the meme is most likely this one, since it's the best match. The background is just gray. Doesn't have an origin really, it's just gray. But I do know where the eyes came from. I am about 90% sure that the eyes came from this. This eye is actually a popular creepy image commonly used in creepy videos. However, we do not know where that photo came from, but I'm pretty sure that the person who made the Mario meme just used the black eyes. Nobody on YouTube has ever talked about the origins of the Mario Turbio image, I am the first one, but I do not want to take all the credit because I got help from Jaden Salads. If you don't know who Jaden Salads is, he is mainly known for finding the origins of liminal space images. On my own, I did find out that it was a popular meme in Spanish speaking countries, but Jaden found the eyes used for the image. So when I thought that I reached a dead end, Jaden Salads helped me by finding more information about the image. He even tried to recreate the image, which he did a really good job on doing, but he didn't bother to distort it. Who would have known that this uncanny Mario photo originated from a Spanish meme? Flooded Subway Station For the longest, I thought that this photo was associated with the pool rooms. In case you don't know, these pool room photos are fake, 
and made by Jared Pike. Turns out that this photo is actually real and it was taken at the Hamamatsu subway station in Japan. The train station got flooded by a tropical storm called Itao. Since we know what caused the flood, a simple Google search can tell us when this photo was taken. The storm happened in early September of 2015, meaning that the photo was probably taken within the first week of the storm. If you go to Google Images, you can find more angles of the flood, and underneath the images, you do see credit on the person who took the photo. The name underneath the image is Weibo, and after searching up Weibo on Google, I found nothing. However, I believe that Weibo isn't even a real person, because the only thing that popped up on Google was a Japanese social media called Weibo. So it may seem that an article just credited Weibo because they got the photo from that social media site. So this photo was taken sometime early September of 2015, and the one who took the photo posted the photo on Weibo. Squidward Community College This is a funny meme of a Squidward Community College. You're going to think that I'm crazy, but for the longest, I thought that this was a real college. Don't ask why. But sadly, it's fake. However, there is a real Squidward Community College website that you can even enroll in, so this prank joke site is legit, and it's even being updated frequently. Whoever is behind this joke is clearly dedicated to keeping this joke up. I don't know if the creator of the website made the image or not. If you're on the website, you can find the address to this college, and it's an address from the UK. But I'm pretty sure this is a fake address just because after going on Street View, I only saw normal looking houses from a neighborhood, and I did not see the alleged college. Luckily on Reddit, there's a group of people who have found some good leads on the origins of this image, and they even found the original unedited photo. This building is actually a house and not an actual college. No surprise there. So where did the image of the house come from? We are still not 100% sure, but a Redditor found a good lead. They found a website about modern architecture on the Frederick Law Olmsted Society. It has a pictogram of the same view describing different bits in the design. This house is highly likely located in Riverside, a Chicago suburb. Comparing the actual house to the drawing of the house, it's an exact match. However, I did find two differences. On the actual building of the house, it does not have the railing on the roof and it does not have the rounded window. On a different Reddit post, another Redditor would say that this house is actually not from Riverside, but instead could be in Florida, Arkansas, or California. That's because this Redditor contacted the Frederick La Olmsted Society, and they told them that the house is definitely not in Riverside, Illinois. The same Redditor would say, given the perennial flowers on the lower right and what I believe is a neem tree on the upper portion of the image, I'd say that this could be in Florida or Kansas or California. So for now, we don't know where the house from the image is located, but at least we found the unedited photo of Squidward Community College. I can't believe that I thought that this was a real college. Creepy Pool Rooms Another water-related liminal space image is this creepy pool room. At first sight, it looks like some type of abandoned building, but it's actually the opposite because this is a spa resort located in Ukraine called Sanatorium Ingol. This popular liminal space photo first surfaced on the spa's resort website. This pool, from what I know, is very therapeutic and the water has some type of minerals. But at first glance, it does look like some type of swamp water that looks very unpleasant. However, if you search up the spa resort, you do find different angles of the pool room that look more pleasant, and it actually looks somewhat relaxing. After reaching 1 million subscribers, I would love to visit the real life locations of popular liminal space images, and I would for sure love to visit that pool room in the Ukraine. And of course, the infamous UK hotel that is popular in the backroom's lore. Credit to Kylie for finding the origins on a Jaden Salads video. Like always, credit in the description. Domino's Hell This is an image that I forgot to mention sooner. I first discovered Domino's Hell back in 2016 when a friend of mine told me about this cursed Japanese poem. If you read the poem in your head or if you hear someone else read it to you, nothing will happen. 
but if you read the poem out loud, you will get cursed. And a lot of bad things will happen to you. Here is the poem in case you want to read it. This poem was published back in 1919 and was written by Yasuo Saijo. This painting of a red woman was always associated with the poem. That's what I originally thought. Turns out that this painting was never associated with the poem, but sometime around 2016, people just used the photo for the poem as some type of creepypasta. 100% of the time, creepypastas are fake, but I'm pretty sure there are real stories of people getting cursed after they read the poem out loud. This painting was made by Yuko. She painted this in September of 1999, which I was surprised because I thought that this painting would have been way older. The original name of the painting is called I Can No Longer Become Your Bride. The artist also has more art on her website, but none of them are as iconic as this one. Off topic, but huge shout out to the people who react to my videos on stream, most notably Blue Rye and Tommy NFG. In case you two are watching my video on stream, read the poem to your chat. I dare you guys. Nothing bad will happen to them, but I dare you guys to read it out loud. Black Ghost Girl in Window. You have most likely seen this photo around the internet. I remember seeing this photo on Instagram back in 2016 on Instagram meme pages. So this is an old image. I always wondered where did this image come from and I always thought to myself that this was just a normal photo of a family looking out the window, but someone just photoshopped the middle person to be this black ghost. However, I was wrong. YouTuber Sakura Stardust asked around for the origins, which she later received a comment saying that this came from a series called Tales of Terror from Tokyo. After googling it and going to images, you can find this other screenshot of the ghost woman. However, the image is a bit different. On the photo, you see subtitles reading with my aunt too long. And the ghost girl doesn't have her eyes. So it seems that someone screenshotted this from a show and added the eyes on Photoshop. Sakura Stardust also found this Twitter post that reads, Which translated, it says the Shin Mimibukuro story Futari Bochi. This one scared me with the title alone, but something about the appearance of the ghost really did it as well especially with its backstory slash origin in the story itself. It turns out that this image isn't actually from Tales of Tor from Tokyo, but instead a movie called Futarabochi aka The Two of Us, which is a movie based on the Tales of Terror TV series. This movie came out on July 6, 2005, which is where this infamous photo came from. So now we know where the photo came from, but we still have one unanswered question. Where did the eyes come from? After all, in the official clip, it was just the black ghost girl with no eyes. Well, I think I may have found the original eyes, but I'm still not 100% certain. In this YouTube video that shows highlights from the movie that also contains the ghost girl clip, also shows more footage of the black ghost girl, such as this one. In this screenshot, she does have eyes looking in the same direction as the ghost girl from the window. I believe that the person, whoever made this photo, simply stole the eyes from this clip and added them to the original photo by shrinking down the eyes. Yes, I know that the eyes are a bit different since this photo is in HD compared to this photo, but keep in mind that there could have been some distortion involved, after all, the eyes do look somewhat similar. What do you guys think? Grinning Man The Grinning Man photo has been used a lot in YouTube thumbnails and many creepypastas. This photo has surfaced the web since July 21st, 2008. So what is the original unedited photo? Turns out that this is the original photo. This original photo is titled The Cock Mongler. Yeah, I know, weird name. Cockmongler is a well-known internet meme featuring an image of a red-haired man making a bizarre and humorous facial expression. This distinctive face is frequently edited into various pictures through Photoshop. It is considered one of the oldest memes to originate from 4chan 
and continues to be popular today often regarded as the first ever unofficial mascot for 4chan. The original image was discovered on the website for the world's largest dinosaur, a massive dinosaur sculpture located in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. The photo was found in the fun stuff section and was titled a prime example of too much time at the world's largest dinosaur. The initial version of the image posted on 4chan included the caption, I'll suck your rooster. The Grinning Man photo, like I've said, came out in 2008, but the unedited photo dates back four years earlier, in June of 2004. This meme gained so much traction that threads dedicated to the cock mongler began to appear on 4chan, some of which were even archived due to their notability. On April 27, 2008, an anonymous user on 4chan shared recent pictures of the original cock mongler taken at the Calgary Comic Expo, which further increased the meme's popularity. The thread was so well received that it was pinned to the front page of B on 4chan. This image reminds me a lot of the doll thing JPEG photo that I've mentioned in part 1. If you don't remember, this originated on a 2 channel chain post where a user would say, this girl is creepy, do your magic and make her cute. After that post on the thread, many people would photoshop her to make her cute. Which reminds me of the cock mongler. He took a funny photo and a lot of 4chan users decided to make a lot of edits of him. However, none of them blew up until the creepy grinning man photo surfaced. Shout out to Gubby for mentioning this image because I completely forgot about this iconic photo. And who would have known that the original photo would have been titled the cock mongler. And that is the end of where did these images come from part 4. And by the time this video comes out, we should be at 200,000 subscribers. Thank you so much because this really does mean a lot to me and I can't believe we've already made it to 200k. That is a huge number. All thanks to you guys. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter and of course all credits in the description below because when I see someone else find a very iconic photo that I've been trying to look for, I always want to share that image with you guys to spread the image around more so credit to them as always because you do not want to be a guy that steals other people's videos and never credits them. You know who you are. But once again, thank you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.